the pain drain, and interrupting the cycle of pain. Imagine a physical pain you felt recently. Did you recoil, tense up, or did you just accept the pain? If you're like most people, you didn't like it very much, and it led to a reaction. What happens when most people and some animals experience pain? They stop. They brace. They guard. They immobilize themselves. This also happens in response to shocking things like sounds. Imagine a loud boom or crash happening near you. You might quickly rise your, raise your shoulders, guarding your neck, and look towards the sound. You might have an adrenaline rush as you determine whether to choose flight, fight, or freeze. Imagine the posture you're holding for those seconds and then think about someone you know in significant pain or someone with poor posture and arm and neck problems. For many of us, the reaction to that shocking sound or event just fades away as we return to our relaxed state. However, sometimes we enter the pain drain as pain and immobilization lead to stiffness. If you remain immobile long enough or go into the pos reactive posture above often enough, you may spend enough time there to become stiff. Stiffness can happen over time to anyone who holds any posture and doesn't move. A simple experiment is to hold your hand in a fist for a few minutes. After that time, it will be stiff and even painful as you start to open it again, or even with it remaining closed. This is because stiffness leads to pain. It's a complete cycle. The pain cycle on figure 12.1. Pain goes to immobility, goes to stiffness, goes to pain. The pain cycle, a cycle of pain, immobility, stiffness, and pain. In this simple model, we have a cycle that moves from each of the conditions to the next. If you immobilize, as we saw in the hold your fist tight experiment, you will soon feel stiff. If you feel stiff for long, it will become painful, sore, or uncomfortable. If you feel pain, you will tend to immobilize yourself. You can enter this cycle at any point and frequently it starts to become what I call the pain drain. I call it this because it rhymes, partly kidding, and because it helps explain why a certain reaction to pain can just allow it to keep getting worse. As you continue to respond to pain with immobilization, you continue to get more stiffness, which in turn leads to more pain. So the pain drain looks like figure 12-2. Pain, circling down to immobility, circling down to stiffness, down to more pain, in a spiral that continues down and down and down to more and more immobility, stiffness, and pain. Figure 12-2, the pain drain, as you allow yourself to react badly to pain and it gets worse. Think about this in your own experience. When you've had pain and you immobilized it, you got more stiff. Think of how you felt after getting out of a cast. Think of how you, of when you got out of bed after a long illness like a cold or a flu. Think about how it felt even after our brief experiment with you holding your hand stiffly. If you haven't tried the experiment and can't relate to these, try it now. You can do it for with your free hand as you turn the pages with the other. These models are a simplification to help you understand why we would do what we're going to do to treat it. But first, indulge me in a moment as we try to make this even more universal as we talk about emotional pain.